Hey, what's up? It's Nathan here with the btccourse.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your Lightning Bitcoin back to on-chain Bitcoin. So I have this video here where I give you four different ways to get your Bitcoin onto the Lightning Network, but I don't really tell you how to take it back off the Lightning Network. So yeah, that's what this video is about. And somebody actually asked this question over here in regard to Blue Wallet and taking the funds out of their Lightning Blue Wallet and moving them back on chain. And actually Blue Wallet is sunsetting their Lightning uh, feature. So if you are on Blue Wallet using Lightning, you probably want to follow this tutorial, but also maybe you have funds on your Albi Wallet and you want to put them back on the main chain and that way you can go put them into a hardware wallet or to an exchange and sell it or whatever it might be. So yeah, that's what we're gonna cover in this video. And there's probably a couple different ways you could do it, but this way that I'm gonna show you is non-KYC and non-custodial. So that means you have your own keys to it, and also you don't need to upload your driver's license or anything like that. So the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and get Moon Wallet. And I actually have a video on how to set up Moon Wallet. So if you're, you don't have Moon Wallet and you don't know how to set it up, recommend watching that video. So let's say you've got Moon Wallet, you've got it set up, you have your own keys and everything like that. But then you should have a wallet that looks something like this right here. And all we'd wanna do is receive. So we go ahead and tap on receive. And we see we have two options right here. We have Bitcoin or Lightning. Since we want to take our Lightning Bitcoin and put it into on-chain Bitcoin, uh, we wanna accept a Lightning payment, right? So we wanna make sure we tap Lightning here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tap on invoice settings right here. And we can go ahead and add an amount that we wanna go ahead and receive. So for this example, I'm just going to go ahead, I'm gonna hit this drop down here and change it to sats, probably sats. And I'm just gonna do 10,000 sats. So about $2.35. And we go ahead and do confirm amount. And it's gonna go ahead and generate that invoice for me. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna copy it and I'm gonna get it onto my computer. So give me one second to do that. So now that I have my Lightning invoice on my computer, I wanna to go to Albi here, but the same concept would apply for like Blue Wallet or any other application that sends Lightning payments. And in this case, I wanna go ahead and send, and then I'll go ahead and paste in my Lightning invoice, just like that, and hit continue. And we see the 10,000 sets, and I'll go ahead and pay now. Well, let me, hold on, let me load up my Moon Wallet. So hopefully we can see it zap straight over there. So I'll click pay now. And there we go. So it loaded in here, payment successful. And now I have my Bitcoin in my Moon Wallet. So now I can go ahead and send it. So I have a Bitcoin on-chain address that I wanna go ahead and send my Bitcoin to. Now this could be a wallet somewhere. Maybe I'm putting it in a cold storage or I could move it to an exchange address if I want to and sell it. But the point is I still want to send it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on send. And so it says scan a Bitcoin or Lightning QR code. So I have a QR code that I'm gonna go ahead and scan right there. And then I can go ahead and say how much that I want to go ahead and send to my on-chain address. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send, change it to sats real quick. And I'm gonna send those 10,000 sats over to my, my address. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm the amount and then return on chain and then confirm note all right so of course since this is an on-chain transaction i have to pay on-chain fees so it is a little expensive to you know send ten thousand sats which is two dollars and 35 cents you know a big chunk of that well about 20 cents or so will be a, a fee so that's something to note about on-chain transactions is you're paying on-chain fees and but anyway i could go ahead and edit them if i want to so I could go ahead and lower them potentially. And maybe I'll go to mempool.space and see what the, the mempool looks like right now. So I think I could actually do one sat per V-byte and then I should be included in one of the next blocks. I do have a video on how to use the mempool. So you, I'll link it down in the description down below so you could understand what you're looking at here. But for my example, I'm gonna go ahead and actually enter the fee manually and I'm gonna do one sat per V-byte. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. And I'm gonna do confirm fee. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tap on send. 
and poof, it's going out there. And I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this arrow right here. And I can see that my transaction is confirming. I'm gonna tap on that real quick. And I can see that I have a transaction ID right here that I'm gonna go ahead and tap on. And you see that it loaded up mempool.space and there I am in that second block, uh, just like I was thinking I would be in because there's only two blocks pending. So I'm sitting in here in this block and you know, eventually my transaction should go through and be in my on-chain Bitcoin wallet. And so that's how you'd go ahead and get your lightning Bitcoin back onto the, the on-chain Bitcoin. Of course, Bitcoin is Bitcoin, whether it's on the lightning network or on the on-chain Bitcoin, but you get the idea, I hope. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, I appreciate your sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, or follow me on the btccourse.com free website with lots of training and tutorials and things like that. And yeah, hope you have a great rest of the day.